Oh, well, what is happening? Well, oh, what is happening, guys? Welcome to my new crib. It's a little bit old school, um, as you can tell by the picture on the wall here. I am now living in a farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. So I have moved, I've moved country. And um, I've moved to Ireland because obviously with all this COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, and the L word, lockdown, hate it, heard it too many times. Um, it all got a bit crazy and I have a, a boyfriend that lives in a different country to me. He lives in Ireland. So when this whole thing started to kick up a couple of weeks ago, we took the decision to take all of my things, pack my M3 up and just come over here and rent a place together because otherwise we weren't sure what was going to happen with the borders and travel and all of those things and I don't want to be spreading any nasty bugs around. So I'm now on the other side of my two weeks isolation, which means I am free of any bugs. I'm not ill. I have lived in the city for the last five years. So the fact I can't hear sirens every night and things like that is fairly weird. But I know I'm in the best place for me because I, over the last few years I have been kind of thinking, well, you know, you have all these cars but you can't actually drive them in the place where you're at. So it's definitely a bit of a social experiment for me seeing what it's like to live out somewhere where, oh, I actually can go out and drive the M3 or I can go up to the track and uh, drive the S15 and bless her, the U21, she's tucked away at my dad's. But one day, you know, it'd be nice just to have the car here to be able to go and drive it. So, as I said, all very strange, all very weird for me. I've not got no nails on, I've got no eyelashes on, nothing, because it was kind of like, all right, so you're not gonna be going home for probably about six weeks. So I had to um, de-glam. So I'm feeling feeling it a little bit, but you know what? I know it's minor stuff. Everyone, a lot of people out there are struggling with this situation mentally, physically, financially. Like it's it's a shit one. So now I'm living in the middle of the countryside. Um, I'm gonna give you like a quick tour because this video is about showing you. Obviously, I brought my M3 over with me. My drift car is already here. So as far as having my things with me, I've got pretty much everything, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick tour. I am literally surrounded by no one. Like, it's so weird having living in such a densely populated place and then coming here and being like, huh, that's the mountains. That's a field of cows. I can sort of see my neighbors. Like, they're like really far away. That's, what's going on here then? See, these are my new friends, look. So, oh God, the exposure is really bad. Hello, hello boys. Yeah, so pretty much now all my neighbors have gone from like, you know, the lovely multicultural society of London to, yeah, a bunch of cows. Hello peepees, hello peepee, hello. Definitely has its perks. Like when you want to go into an isolation sort of situation, this is about as isolated as you're gonna get. So I'm in rural, County Cork, um, because that's where my other half lives. He lives in the middle of, I don't know, like pretty much nowhere. So I'm gonna take you over to the workshop, give you a spin around there, let you know what's gonna be going on. So don't worry, I'm still gonna be making videos. Like one of the main reasons I bought the M3 over here was so that I can sort of keep cracking on and getting stuff done with that and keeping my content going. Because if I'm not making videos, then I'm gonna be losing my mind. And don't get me wrong, I know this is a difficult time for everyone right now. There's lots of people that are stuck inside. I'm very lucky that I can come over here. It was it was a decision that wasn't taken lightly. It was something that we just had to act on and act quickly. Um, so let's go over to the workshop. It's less than a kilometer away. It's literally, I can pretty much jog it. So not that I'm gonna do that because yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not ready for, for fitness just yet. But I am gonna be trying to do a 30 day challenge and try and lose a stone, but uh, all the rest of it, whatever. Um, yeah, so let's go over to the workshop. And here we are, we're at the workshop. So as I said, he was like just under a kilometre away. So we're not meeting anybody, we aren't uh, seeing anyone. Like it's literally a really short uh, distance between the house and the workshop, which is perfect because it still means, as I said, that I can still create videos from here and I can work on my cars, which is the main thing about keeping on creating content for you guys. So I don't want you to worry that there's gonna be nothing coming from my side because that's exactly what is going to be happening and that's the whole reason I'm here. So let's go and have a little look out in the garage. As you can see, it's all a little bit makeshift whilst I'm here. I'm just sort of surviving whilst I can. So 
this is the new home of my cars. You can see a pair of them here sort of hiding together. I think they look quite good once you actually get them right next to each other. The yellow matches them really nicely. But the point is, is that now that we are here, I have loads more space and also I've got time, plenty of time to get cracking on these two. Now, this car, obviously we have a few things to do with it. I have a new set of wheels kicking around here for it. So I've got a new set of 20s. And also, as you found out in the last video, I broke the gearbox in the S15. So that's something that we're gonna be working on is to put a new box or figure out exactly, first of all, what went wrong and then putting a new box into that car. And the M3, we're going to fix the crack in the exhaust because that was another thing that I was like, oh, found the problem. Now I've got to try and get it all fixed up. But as you can see, at least I have some space and somewhere to actually do this stuff because I was getting really stressed because in London, there's not really a lot you can do for content right now. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, I guess it's about time that I probably introduce you to uh, my other half, who's actually now walking out of the garage. He's, he's, he's on the phone. Say hello. Hello. Ha hello. Hello. Oh, this is James Dean. I know a lot of you have been speculating for a long time about who my other half is and to be honest By the time we've got to this point, it's far too obvious for anyone to Especially when we're stuck in isolation <laughs> Exactly. So, you know what, we've been together for like a year and a half or so But I just kept my private life off the internet. So that's enough about that And that's our dog And this, this is our dog as well. This is Timmy Timmy, Timmy Pop Look Sweet little fella He's the best dog. So to be fair, like of all the places to be stuck, I'm not too um, upset about it. It isn't too bad. Look, he's a little bop. So anyway, what I was going to do today was unbox one of my wheels and sort of put them up alongside the M3 to see what that's going to look like. So. Timmy. Sit. Sit. Right, Tim, let's see what this wheel is going to look like. Mind your, mind your nose. Mind your nose. Because I've been like, you're getting right in the way. Um, I've been thinking about what wheels put on this car for a while, and then I'm like a big fan of Matchy Matchy. So actually the wheels I've got on the drift car up there are what we're going to put on the M3, because they're not, I wanted to put three piece on there, but then I'm not really responsible enough these days to have a three-piece wheel on a daily car because I won't wash it and then it will corrode and then it will look awful. So we've gone for a cast wheel. Are you okay under there? Oh, but I did oh. decide to go off. Oh. <laughs> Good start, the box is upside down. Um, That's my fault. That's oh, fine. Don't <laughs> Let's have a look. They look awfully big. Why am I so bad at unboxing? Okay. Here's one I made earlier. Ooh. These are very kindly sent over to me by Rosa Farm, who I've run their wheels for, God, it's gotta be 10 years now. I had my first set of Rosa Forms when I was ah, 18. So yeah, nearly 10 years. Ooh. Sweet. They look wicked. I love the the map on the glass as well. Like it's just a nice little finish to them. And I think I saw a picture of an F80 with these wheels on. So if you can just sort of imagine what that's gonna look like. Set of twenties on there. They're gonna look good. Yeah, now I'm excited about that actually. We just need some tires. Yeah, so uh, during the whole lockdown thing, trying to get hold of 20 inch Pilot Sports is uh, rather difficult. But we will prevail, we will find something. I'm just excited to see how that's gonna look. If you look, look from out here, it looks uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really cool. And I know that's kind of like loserish that you have. Okay, that's my car and then up there you have the same wheels on my drift car okay these are slightly more bashed up because because drifting 
just get on this call. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> so yeah, that's exciting. Looks like it's just gonna be me and you, dog. Oh, bless him. Honestly, this guy has been keeping me sane over the last couple of weeks. At least we're able to go out and take him for a walk or a run. I'd missed having a dog. I haven't had a dog for absolutely years and now I've just come here and it's like, oh, I get a Rottweiler puppy. It's fab. Sit down, sit, sit, sit. Oh, he's not very, he's not very obedient. Sit, come here. This is, sit down, sit. Good boy. No, sit. That's the one thing about being here is the lighting for doing any videos is absolutely magic. Um, so I guess the one thing that I do wanna say is, look, we're all in this together. There is a lot going on. There's a lot of um, restrictions on what we can do. So it's just a case of bearing with us. Like I'm still gonna create as much content as I can. But the main priority here is obviously to stay safe and to keep your social distancing up, all of that sort of thing. I don't need to lecture you. I'm sure you've all been like absolutely inundated by the news like i've been finding it all a bit like overwhelming every time i turn on the tv it's just like death cases ah like all of this stuff like i made this decision because it was the best decision that i could do for me and my mental health and mental well-being i just wouldn't have done very well being stuck in my flat in london and it just would really take me back even more steps because as, as i said at the moment like it's all very uncertain like a lot of motorsport events have all been cancelled it's a lot of work being postponed that sort of thing my biggest one was uh goodwood i thought to myself i was like it's gonna be fine goodwood will never postpone it's not good you know as long as that event goes ahead then everything's gonna be fine and then we got the news that goodwood's being postponed so i don't know the main thing is to stay safe and do what you can keep washing your hands like my hands are so cracked from washing them too much <laughs> oh god i guess what i want to say is that i am trying my best to keep uh, keep the content coming for you guys. I'm gonna do a couple of Q and A's. We've also got some other sort of cars here that I can do a walk around and also have a chat with you guys about because there was supposed to be loads of things coming up this year, but with the uncertainty of the world, how do we know what's gonna happen? We don't, but we're gonna try the best that we can. Bear with me, I'll try and bring you as much content as I possibly can. You guys stay safe out there and I will see you again very, very soon. See you later, bye.